What's going on guys? Hendy the Sparky here, electrician from New Jersey. And today we got a service call. Customer called saying that their EV charger isn't working, their electric vehicle charger, charge point. We're gonna troubleshoot. Come with me and see what a day in the life of an electrician looks like. All right guys, so we get to the customer's house and here's their level two charge point EV charger. And as you can see, it looks perfectly normal. It actually charges the car perfectly fine. It just will not connect to Wi-Fi for some reason. So they called us out to get it replaced. They got a replacement unit for free from charge point since it was under warranty. And here you go guys, here's the electrical panel. It's currently on a 40 amp breaker. So that means that that charge point has a maximum output of 32 amps. And here is 82 Romex. And we actually did this install guys about a year ago. So this customer called us out a year later because their unit somehow got defective. And that is very rare when it comes to these type of units. So they called us out and they got a replacement for free. And um, you know, minimal charge here, service call fee, and they needed to get it swapped. So I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like getting a charge point swapped out. And here is the wiring, everybody. I'm using my non-contact voltage tester. I turned off the power. You always wanna make sure the power is off before working on these units. So I'm currently taking out the two hot wires and the ground, and I take off the unit, unscrewing the screws, and I'm now replacing the unit, putting in the new charge point. The customer had standard vinyl siding and you can see our wires coming out with a three quarter inch Romex connector. I'm currently now drilling in pilot holes so I can put in my 5 16th anchors. And there is currently also a screw on the top where the unit mounts like a picture frame. So that's how the unit stays in place with one screw on the top and two screws that go in the middle of the unit. As you can see, I'm tightening them then down. And I use a level, everybody. You wanna make sure that the units are straight. Now this charging unit is called a ChargePoint HomeFlex Hardwired. And there are multiple different versions of this unit. There is the plug-in version and the hardwired version. And I always recommend to customers and homeowners to always get the hardwired version because you get a better direct connection to and from your electrical panel as well as a faster charging speed. Uh, so the new unit didn't come with a charging cord. We're gonna reuse this one? Yeah. Okay, just wanna make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It says that the charging cord will be yeah, the charging cord's good. Yeah. Okay, just want to make sure. All right, no problem. We'll reuse it. Have you seen a lot of problems with this, these kind of units? With these units? Yeah. No. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Weird thing. Mm -hmm. Once in a while. Yeah. It's very... What happened here was rare. Yeah. That's not really common. So ChargePoint only sent the customer a brand new unit. They did not send a brand new cord or as well as any replacements. So we are using the old cord in the new unit and the cord is still good actually. So it doesn't even matter. Uh, the customer doesn't need a new cord. I just asked because you know anything new is better. So we're currently using the old cord that is going into the new unit. And here guys, I'm gonna show you what it looks like how to connect the charging cord. So here is the data connection on the right that is the blue and yellow and then you have your black red and your green and that is your two hot wires and your ground wire and i'm just going to show you guys right now what a full connection looks like for a charge point so as you can see you have the line and then the load in a sense you have the two hot wires in the ground uh, coming from the panel and then you have your charging cord and they're very nice guys these units because you could just snap in your connections very nice. You don't have to torque them. You just snap them in. And boom, guys, we're all finished. I'm about to turn on the breaker. And yes, guys, we did it. And I'm using my non-contact voltage tester to always make sure that we have power. And boom, we see the light on. So light is on. That means you know we are good. So I'm wrapping the cord around the unit. A customer is satisfied, guys. He was happy. We calibrated his new unit back to Wi-Fi. So now he can see how much he's paying for an electric bill for his car charger. And here's the recap. All right, we just installed an electric vehicle charger for a customer, 40 amp breaker. All right, as you can see, we ran 8.2 Romex in the wall. Customer didn't have a finished wall. So you see the studs. 
so it's technically unfinished. So we fished Romex wire in the wall, as you can see, up top, around. We drilled into the stud and then came outside and boom! See the unit, guys? Clean as a whistle, okay? Customer had a Nissan Leaf, so didn't need the full 60 amp, just needed 40 amps. And uh, because this, the Nissan Leaf is not a full EV, it's a hybrid. Let me know what you think of this install. Overall, it came out super clean. Super clean. If you need an electric vehicle charger installed, hit me up. You know who to call. We do all of New Jersey, Henelec.com. If you need it right now, Fast A1 service. All EVs, Tesla, Mercedes, Ford, you name it.